Hey everybody, it's Gamers with Reason. I've been needing to do this review for a very long time, and surprisingly, there's not very many reviews for this specific product. And, uh, first off, if you haven't read the description or anything like that, I'd be surprised. But anyways, uh, this is over the 2GB edition of the GTX 550 Ti. NVIDIA, uh, GeForce version, so, anyways. As I was saying, uh, one of the things I must say is that uh, this is pretty much the cheapest 2 gigabyte graphics card you'll find. And you've probably heard, especially if you know Motherboards.org, um, his YouTube channel, um, he's always preferred the GTX 550 Ti, the 1 gig edition. And uh, the main reason is because, one, the price, two, performance. Sorry about that. I'm, uh, anyways, it's kind of the best of both worlds. And it, uh, you know, and it's been known for its great value because it's the, one of the best bangs for the buck you could ever get. And because it's, you know, a good price. And also because, you know, SLI option, simply. But, uh, one of the main reasons, like I said before, that people will get the GTX 550 Ti and that I highly prefer it you know, any version, because I know a lot of companies and brands make them, and they're all a little bit different, some perform better than the other, some of them get cooled down more, some more silent than the other, there's a lot of differences, and uh, <clears throat> what makes this one special is because it has two gigs, and now two gigs, you can't take full advantage of it with just one monitor, or even two monitors, really, um, if you're using a, <clears throat> if you're only playing on those displays, because, uh, in case you don't know what the dedicated video RAM is for, it is for storing textures and a bit for processing, like, you know, pictures and loading videos and having them play very smoothly. That might be useful on two monitors, but not so much. Um, and one of the things is that, uh, you know, not very many games use two gigs or more of textures. That's not how much space it takes up or anything like that. So, I mean, you don't really take full advantage of it until you start playing on like more than one display, like triple monitors. Like I have three and I play on all three. And I actually have two of these cards in SLI. And now, try to look at it this way. What if most of, let's just say most of the games use 1.5 gigs. Okay, 1.5 minus two gigs. So, I got another video card for, I guess you could say the first one's for the first monitor, the other one's for the I guess we could say second monitor. I would say third, but I guess we could say second. And 1.5 gigs is dedicated to each one of those monitors. So they have, like, about half a gig left e over each. You know, I guess you could say they're using that for, um, uh, and that would add up to, like, one gig. And that would be for the third monitor. And I guess, and, uh, <clears throat> and that's the only way you could take full advantage of it. And, uh, I must say... Surprisingly, nearly every game on the planet is playable at maximum settings, even with just two of these, because, you know, this game, this card aces, especially on just one monitor. I'm pretty sure you can play just about any game, even on, uh, of course on high settings, on a, just one, or on a high resolution, like 2560 by 1600, you know, and, uh, that's pretty rare, of course, there's not very many games that support that. At least not very many older, of course. But, um, and, like I've been kind of saying, you know, this is a really good price card. This is only like 30 or 40 bit bucks more expensive than the, uh, 1 gig edition. And this is definitely worth it. So, I guess you could say overall, if you're looking for a card that can play any game in high settings, and like 90% of the games in ultra settings, Crisis, you might just have to turn V-Sync and I anti-aliasing down to like the lowest one or just off then you can play in maximum or everything else to the max you know it plays perfectly on nearly every g other game on the market you know and uh, when I was using two of these in SLI on three monitors I was able to get 60 fr the most I got was 62 frames per second on uh, the last Metal of Honor game the one made in 2010 and uh, Crisis I get around 30 frames per second to 34 Skyrim at maximum settings, I get like 28, 29, so I have to turn a few things down, and then I can play on, play it 
perfectly well, perfectly smooth. Anti-aliasing to the lowest texture uh, distances and detail distances and that kind of stuff, just down a little bit, and pretty much it. So overall, if you're looking for a card that is a big bang for the buck, but if you're looking for one that will be most useful for like the future, if you want to play on multiple displays and maybe get another one to run them in SLI, then this is perfect for you. Me, I bought it for like 170 bucks. Recently, I saw it with a mail-in rebate, and it was like 140, which is only like 10 bucks um, more than how much the uh, one gig edition usually is. You know, it could go from 115 to 130, sometimes a bit more. And this is a really, really good deal. You know, you end up spending 350 dollars. You know, on two cards, 340, and right now with the price difference. Um, actually 260 or no 280 which yeah that's a great deal compared to some of the higher end cards that are like around $700 $500 or even 350 for just one card you know and this works possibly greater or just as well for a very low percentage of the price so I give this a full 5 stars rating and uh I would definitely give this as editor's choice because, like I said, number one, value, and number two, I forgot to say, is that uh, it actually runs really, really quiet. And if you want to overclock this thing, oh yeah, you can play Skyrim at maximum settings, have it over 30 frames per second if you just slightly overclock it a bit. And yeah, pretty much play about any game ultra settings, or just maximum, and perfectly playable. Most games are perfectly playable, so I'm... Uh, Anyways, uh, that's pretty much wraps it up, and uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you haven't watched my video, my shout-out video about my website that I'm starting on, then please do that. And right now I got a web, um, I got a Facebook page, so just type in facebook.com slash gamerswithreason, and please like it. After I get a certain amount of likes, then I'll unlock a special feature that'll help benefit us both. I just gotta get like 30 likes, so it's not too much, but you know, every bit helps. And please try to try to help me, so then I can help you too. And uh, thanks for watching.